Hey, Trey Knight, Knight's Armor Company. Welcome to KAC TV. In this episode, we're gonna go over some of the history, the technical benefits, and the development of the 45 degree offset backup sights. Some early discussion was basically around the aperture size, and there's never really been able to be a clear consensus on, on the aperture size. So we did some development early on with multiple aperture sizes, mechanically adjustable. So you got one here that had four different aperture sizes and you could rotate the post. We had another one that basically had two different aperture sizes and through a mechanism you could, you could rotate that to, to, to deploy two different ap aperture sizes. Um, eventually we would actually just settle on a removable plastic insert. A lot of other discussion was, was given towards the mechanism itself, whether the site should lock in a in an up position, should lock in a down position, whether it should be spring-loaded, and of course we did some, some spring-loaded sites. Eventually we would settle basically on the 300 meter, which is adjustable windage, 600 meter, which is adjustable windage and elevation, and our front sight, um, standard uh, fixed front sight, which uh, had an adjustable front sight post much like an A2. And if you notice, the, the aluminum basis for each of these sites was completely different. So. Um, we basically, with the micro uh, line of sights, we wanted to basically standardize that base so that we could use the different leafs from each of these. So of course the front sight had to be completely redesigned, but the leaf for the 300 meter and 600 meter sight were very similar to the legacy sights. Speaking of the 600 meter sight, you, the drum that's, uh, that is used, the rotating drum that's used for the adjustable elevation, there was certainly some inspiration that we drew that we drew on from that. And uh, this is a German FG-42. It's a paratrooper, uh, paratrooper gun, very uh, innovative gun in a lot of ways. But uh, if you look at the sight here on it, it basically has a rotating drum and a leaf that, uh, that, that raises and lowers based off of the rotation of that drum. And one day, I, uh, I went into a, uh, a museum and would see a, a Winchester lever action actually fitted with a very similar backup sight. So again, you can see a rotating drum and a, and a leaf that would, would go up down. And of course, this is even before the, the turn of the century. And when you look at this site today, um, the mechanism on it, it's, it's extremely intricate um, for the time period. So once we, um, once we had these kind of standardized leafs, it was, we started to think of some ap other applications uh, for them. So here you can see the 45 degree offset sights and they're, they're very similar. They share, they share the same leaf, but when they mount to the top of the rifle, they're actually sitting at a, at a 45 degree angle. Let me show, kind of show you how that, how that works. So you can see here, um, on, a, on, a, on a kind of standard AR-15 type rifle, you have your day optic, and then you have these backup sights here. So the, the way that this basically works is you have your, your, your standard optic, and let's say you're up at a high power on it, and you, you feel that you either need to take a, a closer shot. You can easily transition from that day optic right over to the backup irons by just a quick rotation of the weapon, and it's only a matter of seconds that it takes, or uh, basically less than a second that it takes to rotate over and, and use that. Now we're going to go to a product demonstration where Jerry Barnhart's going to show us use of the sights in, a, in an actual firing situation. Engaging two longer range targets with the main optic. Have two closer threat targets right up close in front of me. Can't see them through the day sight. So I'm moving over the angled iron sights to pick them up. And then I have another longer distance shot again going back out to the day optic. The 600 meter 45 degree offset sight kit is available now on our website or through any of our dealers. It's part number 30079. Thank you guys a lot for watching. If you have any questions or comments, email them to us, kactv at nightarmco.com. Thanks.